China is on the verge of a monumental achievement in naval technology, and it could change the balance of power in the seas forever. In just 12 years, the People's Liberation Army Navy has constructed three aircraft carriers. However, the tech on the first two Liaoning and Shandong fell short of America's cutting-edge carrier technology. But now, with the upcoming entry into service of the Fujian, everything is about to change. Fujian represents China's most advanced warship to date. It's the largest ship China has ever built, and it's equipped with electromagnetic aircraft launch technology, similar to the system used on the U.S. Navy's USS Gerald R. Ford. This new technology signifies China's determination to match and perhaps even surpass the capabilities of the U.S. Navy Fujian's launch system is a significant departure from its predecessors. Instead of ski ramps, Fujian features catapults bringing China's carrier technology to a whole new level. The key to this breakthrough lies in China's successful development of an electromagnetic launch system. Inspired by the drivetrains of electric cars, the Chinese system uses a flywheel and winding wheel to store and release energy. This innovation represents a remarkable achievement for a country that entered the aircraft carrier scene just 12 years ago. Fujian weighing 80,000 tons fully loaded is not only China's first clean sheet carrier design, but also the largest Chinese warship ever built. With three catapults, Fujian's real accomplishment lies in its electromagnetic launch system. This achievement could significantly narrow the gap between China's Navy and the U.S. Pacific Fleet. While China currently has half as many carriers as the U.S., its rapid naval expansion suggests a potential catch-up in the next decade. China's aggressive naval buildup raises questions about its intentions. With territorial disputes in the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait, China's new naval capabilities could reshape the geopolitical landscape, echoing historical parallels with Japan's imperial ambitions in the 1930. And just like then, the only power capable of countering these ambitions is the United States.